Hey what's up, my name is James and welcome to my YouTube channel. I know this is a little bit of a different video uh, than you normally used to seeing from my channel. Um, but basically, I, I did want to start just a, a little series called Gear Talk where essentially, I mean, we talk about gear. Um, whether it's the different kinds of gear that I use or uh, just thoughts and perspectives on, on, on gear per se. Um, and today, uh, we're basically going to be talking about this guitar. This is a Music Man Cutlass RS HSS. Uh, I believe it's a 2020 model. Um, yeah, so I mean, just a quick rundown the specs. Um, it's HSS. Uh, these are Music Man's own pickups. Uh, humbucker is a ceramic humbucker. I'm not a huge fan of these pickups. Uh, and yeah, so I kind of feel like the bridge humbucker is a little bit too too strong. So I do have some some mods slated for this guitar, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, one volume, one tone, um, and there is also a silent circuit baked into this, so that's what the 9 volt battery here is for. Uh, so essentially, uh, what happens is that when, I mean, when, when the circuit's on, uh, you should have no, have no um, you know, 60 cycle harm from the signal coils and, and stuff like that. Um, I first, I think I first saw these a while ago, um, where there were a couple of videos of uh, Corey Wong uh, demonstrating this for Ernie Ball, and um, I took a look and I was like, wow, you know, that sounds sounds really good. Um, but how how this came across or came to me um, is essentially that uh, my brother was selling a uh, another Sir uh, HSS uh, guitar and the person who purchased the Sir from him actually had one of these and we were trying to move it along, you know, and so we were like, oh, you know what, uh, let's just, like, just, just give it to us for a while, let's give it a go and then I'll see if uh, anyone else that I know um, is looking for a new guitar maybe you know they do want to try it out or something um, but as it happens uh, I picked it up and I was wowed by it. I was floored by it um, and uh, I'll make another video um, talking about this but uh, I used to have three or four uh, Sir guitars at one point uh, and they're great guitars uh, I however just decided that they weren't doing it for me and I ended up selling all of them so I actually don't have a single Sir guitar left um, but yes uh, coming back to this um, Elder Body Roasted maple neck. Uh, I believe it's a soft V shape. Um, twenty-five and yeah, twenty-five inch scale, uh, standard shred scale. Uh, roasted fretboard. Uh, the 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 roasted maple neck on mine isn't crazy. Um, I'll add a picture here of of the cutlass that my brother got. That has a crazy, crazy neck. The figuring on that neck is insane. Um, these are. Uh, Tuners are shallow, uh, if I remember correctly, made for Music Man. Um, the great uh, locking tuners are must, in my opinion. Uh, something that I'm still trying to get used to um, is the 4 2 arrangement for uh, Music Man hit stocks. Um, this is actually the second the second Music Man that I've ever had. Uh, I had a uh, Majesty, which is the John Petrucci signature, uh, quite some time back. And yeah. <laughs> So I mean, sometimes if I'm tuning and not thinking, uh, by the time I'm done with the D string, I would you know hop over to the other side and then realize that it's actually over there. So uh, that's something that does take a little bit of getting used to. Um, but I don't really see it as much of an, an issue or much of a problem actually. Uh, yeah. So I mean, it, it's a great guitar. It plays well, uh, and they actually come with uh, nines and heavy bottoms uh, stock. So I I typically play tens. Um, However, the tens that I play are on most of these guitars, which are my uh, MJT guitars that uh, are all, you know, Fender style guitars but have Gibson scale necks, meaning they're all 24 and 3 quarter inch scale. Um, that was the phase. Uh, but, but essentially, when you're playing gauge 10 strings on 24 and 3 quarter inches, that's, uh, it, it does feel a little bit lighter. So coming to this, uh, I'm actually shifting to use well, exactly that setup, 9 and heavy bottoms on these. Uh, yeah, and I really like it. Like, I'm not sure if you can hear it through the microphone up there, but... It's really resonant. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't have picked it out all if it wasn't this resonant because I wasn't hot about the pickups when I first tried it out. Um, <clears throat> this is a Music Man bridge. Uh, I wasn't sure how I felt about this this cover at first. Uh, I'm given to understand that you can actually um, remove the cover, uh, and as you can see right now, it's it's decked 
uh, I do normally play with floating shrimp, so I will look into doing that. Um, but yeah, let's talk a little bit about the, the mods that I have slated. Um, essentially, I wanted to keep the stock pick guard as is, so I, because of the silent circuit, so I don't want to have to mess around with that. Uh, in the event that you know, at some point, if I do want to let go of this guitar, uh, but I, I did want to change out uh, everything else about this guitar. So uh, I picked up a couple of uh, things to install. Um, my favorite humbucker of all time is the Sir Thornbucker Plus, especially for HSS strats. So I've got a Sir Thornbucker Plus going in. Uh, single coils wise, I really wanted um, silent single coils, um, which which I had on the Sir, which were great. Um, but this doesn't really, I, I don't think this has the space to, to include that. Uh, silent circuit, so I did uh, Dimazio area 58 in the neck in the middle uh, and, and essentially the wiring for that is just going to be uh, neck, neck in middle, uh, middle uh, split bridge and middle with noise cancelling and then bridge um, and something else that I've done is uh, if you haven't seen Pete Thorne's uh, signature sir, you should check that out because the second he, he, he's got this uh, either a push pull or a push push switch that takes the, the Thornbucker and you know turns it from being series into going to parallel um, and w when that happens one you still get hum cancelling but it becomes a, a little bit more of a single coil or P90 type kind of tone and, and it sounds really good so uh, I'm also going to be doing a push uh, push push pod which uh, is a lot easier to operate I think that's something that we take for granted uh, in a live setting, needing to activate the push pull is actually a little bit of a hassle. Uh, with this push push, you kind of just smack it, and you know it, it activates or it deactivates. So that's pretty easy there. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much about this guitar. Um, well, I think I think I would have you know placed some B roll and some shots in here and there so you can check out uh, this color. Uh, it's maroon mist. It's really incredible. Um, and I, I also had a, a new pick guard made for this. Uh, it is a gold acrylic painted pick guard. Um, it looks sweet. Uh, I was browsing on, on Instagram and I came across uh, Mike Lull Custom Guitars and he he just unveiled a, a base that had that pick guard on it and I was like, you know what, I need that on the cutlass. And so uh, I had one made by the same guy. Um, and yeah, well, um, we'll check out some B-roll, or rather you might already have checked out some B-roll, and I think that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'll make another video after we're done with, with all the mods and stuff, and you know, you guys can check out you know what it looks like and how it sounds like, and I think it's going to be an even better guitar. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for um, staying to the end of the video. Um, I, I appreciate every single one of you guys who take time out to, to watch the video. Um, and I hope that the, the videos that I put out actually help uh, in terms of learning different songs and, and whatnot. I do think that this is a sign of things to come. Uh, I am trying to put out videos uh, a little bit more uh, consistently uh, and, and well, more different kinds of videos, not just playthroughs. Uh, you know, uh, just videos about talk, uh, talking uh, and sharing a little bit more about my guitar playing journey, uh, philosophy and you know, just things that I feel might kind of help you guys along the way. So that's, that's pretty much the goal of this channel. So. Thank you for sticking to the end of the video. Uh, and if you haven't already hit the like button, please do so. That helps a lot uh, with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, also, subscribe uh, and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Alright, well, uh, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks, guys, and I will see you guys around.